For most of us, the comforts and conveniences of modern, everyday life aren't usually something we spend a lot of time thinking about. When you flip a switch, the lights come on. When it's cold outside, you turn up the heat. When your cell phone or laptop battery is drained, you just plug them in to charge. Or when your batteries are drained, you can grab a snack from the fridge. But what if your home didn't have electricity to run everything you need or a supply of natural gas for heat? How would you light up the rooms in your house at night or watch your favorite TV show or hockey game or even do your homework? More importantly, how would you keep the house warm when it's minus 30 outside or keep your food fresh and cook meals? Fortunately, most of us never have to think about that. But for a lot of people around the world, including many right here in Canada, access to affordable and reliable energy is a real problem. This is called energy poverty, and it impacts more people than you may think. Some experts right here in Canada estimate that at least one in five Canadian households are impacted by energy poverty. That means nearly three million Canadian families face sometimes frequent energy disruptions as they struggle to keep the lights and appliances on and heat their homes. This happens if 6% or more of a family's after-tax income is spent on utility bills. By comparison, the average Canadian household pays less than 3%. But there is no typical scenario or single cause for this discrepancy. A number of factors play a role, including the cost of energy within a region, access to the energy grid, socioeconomic conditions, and even a home's general energy efficiency. And energy poverty affects both urban and rural communities all across the country, including families who live in a variety of housing types and households with diverse income ranges. So what can be done to fix all that? Well, just as there's no single cause, there's no single solution. A combination of efforts are required to help provide access to affordable, reliable, and sustainable energy for all Canadians. That means creating new government policies using advancements in technology and energy efficiency, and building infrastructure to make access to energy fair for everyone. For example, advancements in solar and battery technology are making it possible to create small, affordable, decentralized power grids so households can generate electricity for themselves and distribute excess power within their community. And government programs can help families improve their home's energy efficiency by providing rebates or incentives to make it more affordable to replace an old furnace or drafty windows or use energy-efficient appliances. In the meantime, being aware of the energy poverty issue and understanding all of the contributing factors is an important first step in being able to solve it. To learn more, visit the Energy IQ website, where you can explore an interactive map to see where Canada's energy is produced and how it is transported and consumed. Download illustrated fact books. Discover approximately how much energy your own household uses in a year, and more. So the next time you turn on a light, enjoy a home-cooked meal, charge your cell phone, or crank up the heat in your home. Remember, not everyone is fortunate enough to have access to a reliable source of energy to power their lives. But with time and dedication, one day, no Canadian will be without access to affordable and reliable energy.